When a moment connection is required, SDS2 Connect can design bolted or welded moment connections. To apply a moment to a connection, edit the connection. In the connection edit window, connection type must be set to something other than auto standard. Once that is done, moment type becomes available to choose if it is to be a bolted moment or welded moment. Bolted will provide either paddle plates or an angle field bolted to the beam. Welded provides the preparation in the beam flanges and the reentrant cuts. When a moment connection is connected to the flange of a wide flange column, a beam framing to the web will be changed to a shear tab extended pass flange if the moment requires web stiffeners. There are different moment options in the connection edit window for moments. If design for doublers and design for stiffeners is disabled, SDS2 Connect will not do any of the column, web, or flange design checks. Users can choose whether column web doublers are to be on both sides of the web or only the near or far side. Connection material specifies whether paddle plates or an angle is to be used. SDS2 Connect will search the angles setup list for an appropriate angle size. If nothing can be found, it will default to plate material. Bolt type and bolt diameter under moment only apply to the bolts in the paddle plate or angle, not the bolts in the clip angle or shear plate, etc. When end plate is selected as the connection type and bolted moment is selected, several other moment options are available. Location determines whether the bolt pattern is on the top and bottom flanges or the top flange only. Bolt pattern determines whether eight or four bolts are to be used. Moment loads are calculated from the option base beam design moment on percent of maximum allowable moment. This is found in Setup under Design Criteria. Other options here that will affect moment connections are Design Moment Connections for greater than 100%. This designs moment connections on the column side for up to 125% of the maximum beam moment. Seismic moment connection design applies to a welded moment connection and will determine the size and shape of the access holes based on table 1-1 in the AISC connection design manual. Back in the connection edit window, we can see the calculated design load. SDS2 Connect will by default apply a positive moment on the left end of beams and a negative moment on the right end of beams. To change this, users can simply uncheck the auto box and then input the required moment load. When a welded moment is applied, a couple different moment options are available. Seismic connection looks at the setup option mentioned earlier if automatic is selected to determine what to do. Otherwise, yes or no can be selected. Reentrant cut specifies to use either the standard end prep alternate 3 or the FEMA end prep alternate 1. 
Groove angle specifies the angle at which the flange of the beam is cut for the groove weld. When looking at the welded moment connection that is designed, we can see that not all the end preps appear 100% correct. This is currently a limitation for SDS2 Connect working with Revit structure. However, if we look in the connection edit window at the end preps, we can see that they are all correct and are taken into account when designing connections. In beam to beam moment connections, the supported moment beams must be the same section size. These also cannot be a larger nominal depth than the supporting element. The moment loads must also be of equal magnitude and opposite directions, meaning negative on one beam and positive on the other. So in this example, setting the clip angle bolted moment, changing the moment load to negative 500, edit the opposite beam, again apply a bolted moment connection, this time the moment load needs to be a positive instead of negative. And then we can see our bolted moment connection. The same can be accomplished for a welded moment connection as well. Bolted moment connections can also be designed with beam to beam splice plates or end plates as well. Thank you for watching the SDS2 Connect Moments tutorial.